Nellie is approaching a picturesque field. She's carrying a package. If she doesn't manage to open it before reaching the field, she won't survive. Can you guess what's in the package? Nellie is skydiving. There's a parachute in her package. After a safe landing, Nellie decides to take a walk in a sunflower field. Can you help her spot three odd things about this area? This straw man is winking. This sunflower has teeth. And there are two suns in the sky. Nellie walks too far and gets lost in the woods. She wanders around for a while and meets four guys sitting on one big tree. Can you help her rank them in order of foolishness? The fourth person is cutting the branch where he sits. So, he's the silliest. The first person is sitting on the branch that will soon be cut by the second guy. So the first person is the second most foolish. The second person doesn't see that he's about to fall too. So, he's the third. And finally, the third guy. He's a bad person, but definitely not a stupid one. Nellie moves on and finds a highway. Three people offer to give her a ride to the nearest town. Can you help Nellie choose the safest driver? Take a look at this guy's car. Its tires are flat, and there's a puddle of engine oil spilled out of the car. Probably not the safest choice. Oh. This beautiful lady and her car are both translucent, because they're ghosts. As for this gloomy trucker, he looks pretty reliable. Yeah. Nellie enters the local coffee shop and meets two ladies. Both ladies tell her that they are daughters of a famous billionaire. Can you guess who's lying? The lady on the right is a liar. The logo on her t-shirt is fake. Therefore, she's not rich. Nellie doesn't have any money to buy food. The coffee shop manager feels sorry for her and offers Nellie a free lunch. But first, she has to solve his tricky riddle. Nellie agrees. Here's the task. People have stepped on me, but not many. I never stay full for long. I have a dark side. What am I? Can you help Nellie win her free food? The correct answer is the moon. Nellie is eating and looking through the pictures hanging on the wall. Suddenly, she sees something weird. Can you spot any odd details too? This person appears in both pictures, looking young and pretty. But the time distance between these two photos is 100 years. Nellie enters a flower shop and sees the owner putting bouquets in big vases. If he puts one bouquet per vase, he will end up with one extra bouquet. And if he puts two bouquets per vase, he will end up with one extra vase. How many vases and bouquets does he have? He has three vases and four bouquets. The flower shop owner offers Nelly a job. He has just received a delivery. There are three boxes labeled red roses, white roses, and red and white roses. Each box is labeled incorrectly. Mm. Nelly has just one chance to pick up a flower from any box and then label the boxes correctly. Ah. Can you help her accomplish this task? Nellie should take a flower from the box labeled as red and white roses. Since they're labeled incorrectly, this box should contain either red roses only or white roses only. Let's suppose that Nellie finds the red roses. Now she can label this box correctly. We know that the white box cannot have white roses. Therefore, now Nellie can label the remaining two boxes correctly. After earning some cash, Nellie decides to book a room in the local hotel to get some rest. The manager offers her to choose from three empty rooms. Can you help Nellie pick the best option? Mm -hmm. 
There are cracks in the window glass in the first room. Very unsafe. Hmm. And there's a zombie hiding under the bed in the third room. So, Nellie should choose the second one. Nellie locks herself in the room. She opens the window and stands nearby, breathing fresh air. Suddenly, she throws something out of the window. Nellie passes out very soon after doing that. That's a mystery because she's perfectly healthy and nobody did anything to her because the door is locked. Can you find any logical explanation for what happened here? Nellie decided to throw a boomerang out of the window. The boomerang went to the maximum distance and returned back straight to her head. After a while, Nellie wakes up with a headache. She goes to the local shop to buy some aspirin. She spots three odd things about this place. Can you see them too? There's corn on the shelf along with napkins and toilet paper. The announcement offers an 800% discount. That's too good to be true. And finally, the shopkeeper is wearing two pairs of glasses. Suddenly, the shopkeeper begins to yell, Someone stole my money! And he locks the customers inside the shop and calls the police. They arrive and question four suspects. Maya says, I came here to buy water for my 12 o'clock yoga class. I'm 20 minutes late because of you. Bob says, What's the point of stealing cash? Everyone knows that people use cards nowadays. Hmm. Lily says, This shopkeeper is a bad person. He deserved that. And Nelly replies, Sorry, I was focusing on my own purchase. I didn't see anything suspicious. After hearing that the officers had arrested one person, can you guess who? Maya, take a look at the clock on the wall. It's only 10 a.m. She's not late. Therefore, she's lying. Nelly is walking down the street. She sees a cozy garage sale organized by Miss Green. The fixed price for any item is only $1. Amy buys an old dress. Phil takes this beautiful antique vase. And Vivienne purchases a shabby vintage suitcase. Nelly comes over to Miss Green and says, Oh. Madam, you've just sold an expensive thing for a song. What? What does she mean? Can you guess? Vivian lifts this suitcase quite easily, so it's probably empty. And besides, it has holes in the bottom. Therefore, it can't be precious. This vase isn't antique. It has a sticker from a dollar store. Although this dress is dirty and torn, it has a large, expensive brooch pinned to it. So many gemstones can't cost just one dollar. Nellie asks Miss Green if she can use her bathroom. Miss Green says, Sure, it's at the end of the corridor. Nellie is walking down the corridor and confuses the doors. Nellie ends up in this messy kitchen. Huh? The door won't open. Can you help Nellie find a key? It's in the teapot. And Miss Green enters the kitchen and tells Nellie, I'm a witch, young lady, and I'm going to give you a gift if you manage to solve my riddle. Oh, yes. Nellie agrees. Here's the task. It starts with tea, it ends with tea, and it's full of tea. What is it? Can you solve this mystery? The correct answer is a teapot, again. Miss Green brings Nellie to her dusty basement and says, One of these three doors leads to a magical world, and the other two are fake. You have only one attempt to choose the correct door. Good luck! Oh, yeah! Can you help Nellie out? She should choose the third door. Take a look at the floor. Dusty footprints lead to the third door only, which means that doors one and two are fake. Nellie opens the third door and enters an enchanted forest. There are four ways to cross it, but all four passages are pretty dangerous. A hungry dragon is waiting for her on the first route. A massive fire is burning all over the second path. And the third path is basically a windowless tunnel. 
and the fourth passage is full of scorpions and snakes. Can you help Nelly choose the right path? She should pick the third way. The tunnel doesn't have windows, but who said it doesn't have an exit? Nelly walks the tunnel and finds herself in a beautiful castle. The guard says, This castle is yours if you manage to crack my riddle. I can fill a room, but I take up no space. What am I? Can you help Nelly win the castle? The correct answer is light. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Hey, in this video, I'll show you fast food logos and your task will be to recognize them. Sound good? Let's go. You'll get one point for each correct answer. Keep track of your score. At first, you'll see two logos. One is real and one is fake. You have to find the real one. Let's start out easy. Where is the real Subway logo? It's this one right here. Now, do you see the one and only Burger King logo? It's the one on the right. Next up, Taco Bell. What's your call? Here it is. Donut King logo. Which one is it? This one, of course. Okay, Pizza Hut. Where is the real one? It's the left one. Sonic Drive-In. You've got it. That's the one. Everyone's favorite ice cream, Baskin Robbins. Here it is. Tell me which one is Chipotle's real logo. It's this one. And now it's A&W's turn. Pick the left one. Menchie's frozen yogurt. What's the logo? It's the right one. What about Boost Juices? Where is the correct logo? Right here. Thoughts on Whataburger? This is the one. A bit harder to figure out, but I believe in you. Jamba Juice. Here it is. What about Taco Cabana? This one, of course. Sabaro, what do you think? What's the correct logo? It's the left one. Next up, Taco Tico. What do you say?
Yeah, this one. Try to find the Pollo Tropical logo now. Now that's the one. Back to ice cream. Where's the Cold Rock Ice Creamery logo? Here's the original one. Do you see the correct Baja Fresh logo? Pick the left one. Tutti Frutti Frozen Yogurt. What's the correct fruit arrangement on the logo? Here's the right one. Find the Arby's logo. It's the one on the right. Another one for you, the Cheesecake Factory. Which one? Here it is. Will you know what the right logo for Golden Corral is? This one, did you get it? Next up, Papa Gino's. What's your choice? It's the left one. Now pick the correct Bojangles logo. That's the one. Let's change the task a bit. No right or wrong, I'll show you a logo and you have to remember which company it is. They are all about fast food and restaurants too. Let's start way too easy again. Hit it. McDonald's, of course. What are your thoughts? What is this logo? That's IHOP. Another easy one for you. Hit it. Dunkin' Donuts. What do you think about this one? Cold Stone. What about this chicken? Where does it belong? Nando's. Can you recognize this one? It wasn't too hard. White Castle. What about this frame? It's a very famous place. Papa John's. What about this one? I bet you know it. Dairy Queen. Another one for you. What do you say? Del Taco. Do you know where this smiling star comes from? Of course, it's Hardee's or Carl's Jr., depending on which state you're in. Here comes the apple, you know it. Applebee's. 
Let's make it a bit more complicated for you. What is this brand? Panera Bread. Okay, what about this one? Jack in the Box. Good. Next up, this one. That's Fazoli's. Did you get it right? Now, try to focus and tell me what you think. That's Fat Burger. It's getting harder. No more McDonald's for you. What is this one? Wingstop. Bingo! What do you say here? Long John Silvers. It might be hard to recognize, but you definitely know it. What is it? TGI Fridays, of course. Another frame for you to figure out. I didn't promise it would be easy. That's Cinnabon. Do you think you know this logo? El Pollo Loco. What about this one? Roy Rogers. Another one for you. What are your thoughts? It's Johnny Rockets. We're almost through this task. Just three more. What about this one? It's Danny's. Do you think you know this logo? It's Captain D's Seafood. Last one for this task. What's your call? If you said Firehouse Subs, you're right. Level up, a new task. I'll show you just parts of a logo and you have to guess the brand. Don't worry, we'll start with easy ones again. Look, here's one you definitely know. Wendy's, of course. See, not that hard, yet. What about this one? That's Starbucks coffee. You're nailing it. Another one for you to recognize. KFC, of course. Do you recognize this face? It's Big Boy. Another cute face for you to remember. I bet you can figure it out. It's Bubba Gump. This one's easy. Hit it. Domino's Pizza, obviously. What's your guess here?
That's Chuck E. Cheese. What does this stand for? Any thoughts? In and Out Burger. Quite simple. What do you say? This is Panda Express, that famous Chinese food chain. Concentrate and you can guess it. It's the Red Rooster. What's your best guess here? Little Caesars. What about this cactus? Where is it from? That's Qdoba. And what about this guy? Can you recognize him? Hog's Breath Cafe. Think carefully. Can you drag out this piece out of your memory? Orange Julius. What's this one, in your opinion? Yogurt Land. It wasn't too hard, was it? Moving on, what's this supposed to be? Chick-fil-A. What do you think this is? Auntie Anne. Another cactus, just a different one. Where is this one from? Must be something Mexican if you ask me. Taco time. What about this one? That's Hooters. Do you recognize this curl? Pinkberry. Any ideas here? Waffle House. Did you get it? The game is getting harder again. What do you think this is? Buffalo Wild Wings. Another part of a logo for you to recognize. What's your call? Zaxby's. Where is this pretty branch from? It's Olive Garden. Here comes the most impossible of all tasks. Feel free to take all the time you need and add 10 points to yourself if you get it right. What is it? Five guys, burgers and fries. So, what's your score? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.